What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Jeff Benjamin. We are talking about the Magic Keyboard. Now, this is Apple's refresh, its update to the wireless keyboard that it replaces. The Magic Keyboard is actually $30 more expensive than the device that it replaces, the old wireless keyboard. The Magic Keyboard costs $99, so it's it's pretty significant price increase there, uh, but you do benefit from a new design. But the flagship feature here, like all the Magic devices, is the built-in internal battery that you can recharge via a lightning cable. So that's really nice because you no longer have to swap out batteries uh, when your device dies. All you need to do is plug it in to the lightning cable, which goes to your USB port on your Mac. It also pairs instantly, which I'll show you a little bit later here. So here's a look at the Magic Keyboard. And one thing you immediately notice is that there's not a lot of a spare aluminum sitting around like on the old keyboard. Uh, pretty much this whole device is covered in keys which is really nice and we'll talk about that a little bit later so let's unbox this device here underneath the magic keyboard itself you'll see a lightning cable which is used to charge the device that's really nice there you include a lightning cable obviously you're paying 30 extra dollars so you got to kind of factor that in a little bit but it is nice that apple included that and you of course you have some little documentation there as well but that's pretty much all that's in the box it's a pretty simple package now here's the magic keyboard again and it comes in this little wrapper here and we'll unwrap this here right now. So all it takes is just to pull this little tab and that doesn't work. Let's try the edge. There we go. Okay. All right. So there is the magic keyboard and you can see it's super light. That's the one thing that I first noticed. Like it's super light. There's no batteries. Well, double A batteries that is. There is a battery inside, but there's no double A batteries. So you're gonna notice how light this thing is. The bottom of the device has a little uh, feet on each corner so that it doesn't slide around on your desk. That's pretty nice. And of course, on the rear of the device, you have your lightning port. You can use <laughs> you can use the Magic Keyboard while it's charging, unlike, unlike the Magic Mouse. So that is something that you obviously will appreciate there. And compared to the old version, the old wireless keyboard, the Magic Keyboard is a much simpler design. It's just a slab of aluminum with keys on top. Unlike the wireless keyboard that had that little space for the batteries, the AA batteries, there's really no extra aluminum to be found on this device that isn't really covered by keys. So it's a pretty simple design. It's pretty much edge to edge covered by keys. On the rear of the device, you have, of course, your little switch to turn the power on, and you also have well, there's this power switch right there. You also have your lightning uh, connector, so you can plug your lightning cable in, plug that into your computer. The device feels really solid when you type on, like it just feels super stable. There's not a lot of movement. The keys are slightly bigger. There's less of an air gap between the edges of the keys. But one thing you may need to get used to is that there's a little less key travel when you press a key. It's not as drastic as on the new MacBook, the 12 inch MacBook, but it is a little less uh, travel than the old wireless keyboard that this replaces. Now, the keys are slightly bigger in some, some places like the uh, arrow keys, the left and right arrow keys are full size now and the top row of function keys are now full size where as they weren't on the old wireless keyboard and that is really, really nice to have. Now, if you've used a wireless keyboard before, or if you've used a keyboard on a MacBook, like the MacBook Pro, for instance, then you're gonna know pretty much what this feels like. It's not drastically different from those keyboards. Now, with that said, if you're used to a full-size mechanical keyboard, then this is definitely gonna take some getting used to. There's not nearly as much key travel and you don't get as much tactile feedback as you do on a mechanical keyboard. Now, like I mentioned, when you plug it in using the lightning cable, it pairs immediately with your Mac, which is super nice. You don't have to finagle with Bluetooth pairing and all that jazz. So the question is, should you upgrade? Well, folks, if you already have a wireless keyboard, I don't know, it's gonna be a, more of, of a tough sell in my opinion, uh, because those batteries in a wireless keyboard don't run out nearly as much as they do on my Magic Mouse from, from my experience. So it really depends on whether or not you just absolutely hate changing batteries. If you do, then go ahead and upgrade. If not, then keep rolling with your wireless keyboard until the wheels fall off. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.